Aloha YouTube. We're just waiting for Amazon Live here and we will get this show rolling. Aloha Amazon Live, nice to have you guys back. YouTube, great to be with you. Um, uh, luckily on YouTube, I get to share other videos of uh, life, so we've been able to connect. But Amazon Live, I sure have missed you guys. I am back from being married, which is awesome. And anyway, let's get to the show. If you clued in today, it's probably because you love luxury shoes. And in front of me, I wasn't able to capture it in the show, in the shot, but I have 50 pair at least of designer luxury shoes that we are all going to ooh and ah over. <laughs> so you are joining me Shoe Time with Terry. I'm Terry Edmonds. I am a shoe cobbler. We are looking at luxury shoe repair. These are all of these wonderful things that are sitting on my desk right here. And I've been working on them for a long time, so I'm excited to share with you. If you are trying to find out how to reach me, you can go to my website, terryedmonds.com, and there you will find, um, it's super easy, easy to reach me. You click the Amazon button, and all of these supplies I'm talking about today are on my Amazon shopping cart. I have them by category, so they're easy to find. Today we're talking about the cleaner, the conditioner, the brushes, and the paints, and so fantastic. Let's just uh, stop here. I'm gonna stay right, hold on a second. Beep. Not there. Hold on here. That's the Amazon button. This thing just was getting ahead of me there. Okay, so here we are. We are gonna first start off with crepe full soles. Um, I uh, do a lot of shoes, for instance, people want to have lifts on their shoes. They want to make them a little bit taller. This is this gorgeous Chanel shoe. Forgot to dust that. And I put a half inch crepe sole. She likes to have it a little bit taller. So I added a crepe to that. And another good example of that is if one of your soles has completely come undone. This um, is this, look at this gorgeous Gucci boot here. And um, so fun. It's real suede, of course, Gucci but the sole had crumbled. And so I put a new sole on it. And I do a lot of that. There was this period of time when, um, when these brands decided to do more rubber, I think, to make it more comfortable. Uh, for instance, here's a really cute one. Look at these little Louis Vuittons and the uh, bottoms had crumbled. So I put new crepe soles on them. Uh, there, it's a half sole. So you can always uh, salvage your shoes. Oops, hold on one second. There we go. Hold on guys. So anyway, here's another good example. This is the beige. Um, just a really lovely. I actually uh, touched it up with some paint as well, but we'll cover that in this next one. But we're really staying to how to save your shoes if the soles have crumbled in this part. So this is a really great example. Look at this. This is a Fendi. <laughs> and this is how the shoe came in. Completely crumbled sole. And I have uh, attempted to scrape off the first layer. And you know, I usually tell people that I don't like to work with this kind of material because it's kind of goopy and it'll goop up my sanding belt. So, um, but I was able to kind of chip away at it. I don't know, I, I haven't charged her yet because I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to really do anything with it. And I think my real big challenge is going to be under the heel. See, there's a little gap right there. And that's gonna be hard for me to do something with. So don't know how much time I wanna spend. She is a really great client, so I wanted to help her. But anyway, so that is, one of the examples, and I already had to give the shoes back to the client, but here is a Chanel where we did a quarter inch crepe on these uh, suede vintage Chanel's. And another pair of Chanel's, we did a half inch crepe here. And you, the crepe comes in different uh, heights. So um, I have it on my Amazon shopping cart. I ran out of time to find the link, but it is out there. This is a quarter inch. I use the quarter inch most frequently, 
that is what I am using on this little uh, sole here. And it comes in the different colors. I recommend this is my absolute favorite and I recommend it for your Birkenstocks for everything. I make all my sandals out of it. Um, so really nice and you can do so much. You really can save shoes. And I know that some of these, vin uh, these luxury houses like Chanel, Gucci, they're not repairing things right now. They're referring out to cobblers. So uh, just pick your cobbler's brain. And uh, if they're really into it, they'll wanna try it. This was another really beautiful, uh, this is a Valentino and this really nice cork wedge. And, and I put on another one of this uh, it's a quarter, oh, it's an eight inch. This was the actual um, material that I used for this one. And it makes really for a nice full sole. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's this is a lace um, wedge, rope wedge, just really fun. I had to show you guys. So let's move on. Um, the Master Cement. This is the glue that I use for all of these projects. For example, I'm gonna give you an example here. Let's still start here. This is a Gianni Versace. Isn't this lovely? I just saw the uh, House of Versace. Very interesting story. It sure does make you appreciate the items that you get from them. Uh, really lovely, but this had all come unglued. The liner, liner to this was unglued and this insole was unglued. So I use the Master Cement, and luckily uh, it is now available in these smaller containers and can be delivered to the continental United States. They cannot come out to the islands because it's considered a hazardous material. So um, anyway, so that was really fun. So these are some of the basic things, the glue. And the other item that I did not get to keep because the client needed it for his trip were these... Um, these are the Kobe Bryant uh, Nike sneakers. And look at these fun colors, oh my gosh. So these were actually quite a few layers of uh, material that I had to break apart, sand every layer, and then glue it all back together. And usually with Nikes, Nike Air Jordans, the Kobe Bryants, um, all of those that I repair, Typically, uh, they have white sole and I end up touching up with paint. So I carry the Angelus brand on my Amazon shopping cart. We have the Angelus uh, products listed. They are leather paints. They're made to be flexible. You can do so many things with them. And that's what I used for here, especially. I touched up around the white sole there. And then I come through with black just to cover up any extra glue that's showing around the edges. And it just, if you have something like that glue showing, it's the first place that the eye goes to. So it's always nice to just distract it with a little bit of touch up paint. So those were really fun. Kobe Bryant's, I understand that they're, uh, his daughter's doing a new line for uh, Nike and they're really, really valuable right now. So that was a fun one to work on. Okay, yeah, so I just did a cute little video just to show you a little close up on these. Fun, lightweight shoes. All right, so the very first project or product that I use on everything is um, my Angela Suede Cleaner. And it's uh, on the Amazon shopping cart, but they have so many different options there. I also carry it in my shop. Uh, so, because a lot of people can use this at home. It's just something that you can do yourself um, I charge a bit because I'm a professional cobbler, you know, but you can pick up a product like this along with a little suede cleaning brush and you can clean everything. So I'm going to show you some of these fun shoes because they are so much fun. We'll just start here. This is a Dior wedge. Now I didn't have the time. I cleaned these once, these little uh, metal dice that are on the front there but they do have some uh, erosion spots on them. And I, th I think if I would have gone in with a uh, silver cleaner, I could have done more. I did go over it with a little bit of thinner, but these were actually, these shoes were covered in mold. I gave her a new heel. And then of course I washed them for her. So uh, those were really fun. Look at that print. 
Then the next one was this one. Look at this Dior. Oh my gosh, look at this. It has this little lock on it. <laughs> and it just has all of these little doodads. And here's the other half. Look at this fun uh, wedge print that's on it. Isn't that fun? I mean, how colorful she, I don't, she hasn't even worn them, but I did give her new heels. And of course I washed them. This cleaner is so effective. It does suede, leather, fabric. If you have coach bags, you know, a lot of coach did the, um, the uh, upholstery fabric bags. And for instance, you know, anything like this, this is denim, um, denim, of course. And then, you know, this same idea this is that upholstery fabric really, and it cleans up super nicely with that cleaner and it doesn't damage anything. So this was a fun one. This was a Fendi bright orange. I don't think she's even wore this one either, but she needed new heel caps. And, um, you know, I did clean it. Um, if I wanted to go that extra, if she wanted to pay me to go the extra, extra mile on this one, you could always use a paint. Angela sells probably 200 different shades of paint. So, you know, that could have been the next step on that. And so then we go back to this. Here is a suede boot. I gave her a new sole, a new heel, and then I cleaned it with the, um, the Angelus Lincoln suede cleaner, the Lincoln suede cleaner. Aren't those pretty with this beautiful, um, and that, that cleaner can be used on everything, patent leather. I did the whole thing with it and it lifted it. It had some, um, mold on it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait till you see this next one. This is so sassy. Look at this boot. Gorgeous, gorgeous Gucci boot. Again, this fabric cleans up super nicely. So, um, she's wore it just a little bit. She could have done a protective half sole if she wanted to, but we just did heel caps for her. And it just has all of this, you know, equestrian gear on it. Um, quite lovely. Look at that detail on that. For those of you that just love, I just love looking at all of these. I get this wonderful opportunity to see all these great uh, shoe styles. And then here's another one. This is a denim. I put a new uh, heel tip on it and it has this really great pink. This is a Dior and it has this wonderful pink leather lining on it. Isn't that so sassy? Oh my gosh. Again, this cleans up super nicely. And then uh, we also did, I'm gonna do, keep looking at the cleaning here for you guys. Here was another one. Um, actually, we'll just go down the line. So here is a Gucci and it has this lovely zipper on the back. Look at that, isn't that fun? It has a nice little buckle detail on the front side here. A nice little working zipper in the back, but it's not really necessary because it doesn't actually open up here. But I also did a topi half sole. That's what this protective rubber half sole is. And some people are really savvy about knowing how to put that, get that installed on their shoes. A lot of these, um, soles are very, very thin. And so they, it's always best to put the protective uh, layer on it first. Okay. So let's move to the next product. Um, so then I also use this, uh, cream conditioner or cream shoe polish. And for me, they have so many different colors, but I keep them set, you know, organized here. So I do, let's say this is my black. I have the money's worth best cream, which is what, oh, that's the leather lotion that goes on anything but fabric or suede. It's just for smooth leather. So for instance, uh, this Gucci. But so the next step would be doing the cream conditioner and I just apply it with a old t-shirt. Okay. And then I go on to the next step, which is the Lincoln stain wax. And that is so lovely. It's really a great product. I'm so glad Lincoln is still making it. They've been around for a very long time and they open easily here on the side. I'll just show you. Let's see here. So it just has a little thing. You just open the side, bada boom, bada bing, we're all done. And I use a, I definitely recommend getting the brushes. If you're going to take a 
caring for your shoes seriously, get the brushes. Uh, so I designate mine. I have a black one for the black color. This is how I apply the wax. And then I use a brush to buff it off. Okay, it's the easiest way. It gets a nice shine on it. And I have, I have a bin for every color. So if you've got brown shoes, you might wanna have some. This, this one I'm showing you has two options. So I would use the light color with your light brush and your dark color with the dark brush. And that way you don't transfer color to shoes. Then the next step, sometimes polishing isn't enough and you actually need to paint something. So I don't have that girl's shoe handy, but I have a Gucci shoe and it's a sandal and it's this color, okay? It's this turquoise and this has kind of a gray tone to it, right? So I'm gonna start with the uh, turquoise from Angelus. And I'm actually gonna color mix it. I'm gonna use a little bit of black and I think just between the two, the black will bring it into this darker tone. And I'm gonna paint her whole shoe. Like I said, it's a flat leather sandal. So I'm gonna do the foot surface and the bottom cause that's how, that's what her shoe looks like. And then I'm also recommending these paint brushes. Boy, I cannot recommend them enough. I love them. I have a ton of them. As you can see, I go through them like crazy. It's nice to get the fine detail on shoes. And so these are great and they come in different colors. You can get the blue or the pink handled, but they're the same paintbrush. Easy to clean. All right, so let's see here. Uh, we're gonna stop that for a minute. Nope, hold on. Oh, stop. Ah. Okay, we'll stay here. So now let's look at the rest of the shoes. We've, those are the, the materials I use for all of these items. So let's just have fun now. All right, look at this cute little Gucci wedge. Love that. I gave her a new heel cap on there. They have been worn a little bit, but see, look how thin that sole is. It is so darn thin. Uh, she, it would have been nice if we did a half sole on it, but it was quite the investment. Here is this really fun Dior clog. And I did a uh, crepe, quarter inch crepe half sole on it. That's what it originally had. It had crumbled off. I did clean it, but this was about as clean as I was able to get it. Um, but it actually lifted a whole lot of dirt off. And then of course, I'm sure that this came with the same uh, season as the clog, but um, this is the heeled version of the shoe. So that was fun. Isn't that nice? And these have this cute little buckle detail. I don't know if you can see closely, but it's hard enough to stitch a strap that's this narrow. But then you get into something like this or even thinner, and I'll show you that coming up on the Chanel shoe, um, but it just, their detailing is so amazing. You, you know, yes, you're paying $1,000 for a pair of shoes, but it, they're so hard to make. I say it's worth, I, I really do think in most situations, it's worth the money. All right, so the next one is, look at this, this vintage Dior. I put some new heels on her for her. You know, ultimately we could have painted this shoe. Um, she didn't, you know, uh, pay for it. So I'm not doing that for her because it would take quite a lot. But if you're into it and you really want to restore your shoes, you can do that by getting the Angelus paints and doing a color mix. Oh, I think we have some Hawaiian music starting next door. I love it. Okay, so here is this really beautiful Louis Vuitton um, pump. And I gave her new heel caps on there. Uh, again, worn very lightly, but aren't those beautiful? I cleaned them and it sure did lift off the leather. I cleaned all of this. The metal really cleans them, makes them look sweet. Aren't those fun? Oh my gosh. Okay, then these Chanel's, look at these. Look at these tiny little Chanel buckles. I did clean the uh, plastic. They were kind of dirty and still not the best, but I gave new heel caps for her. She has not even worn these, so they just really had dust on them, but those sure are fun. And then these, I've done, they make this in a flat sandal too. So this was the Chanel, which I gave her the half sole and heel. And so those are nice. 
And then we have these cute Dior's. I mean, look at those for a basic pump. Those are beautiful. And I gave her new heel caps on them. Uh, again, very lightly worn. And I think this is only a portion of her collection. This one is definitely very vintage. Uh, I, it hardly looks like she's even worn them at all. But they, they're, uh, they've got this weird plastic that has started to melt. And so I did clean them, but uh, they're better for storage and just sitting on the shelf than really wearing at this point, I think. You know, plastic, it does that. It's like chocolate that over time uh, it falls, it, it just, it ages and it crumbles or it gets sticky and crumbles. All right, so then look at these gorgeous, gorgeous Gucci's. I mean, yummy, yummy, never worn, but the uh, heel caps had disintegrated. So I put new heel caps on them and just beautiful detailing. I mean, look at the sides of that. They're so lovely. Oh, yummy, yummy, I love them. And then we have this other version, just a nice mule. Those are quite gorgeous. And this would be nice with just some uh, cream shoe polish. Again, never worn before. And then we have this, this Dior, which is quite stunning. I love the, uh, de the detail in the hardware with the cute little Dior, the CD on those. This is a woven leather on a plastic and it's in great shape. I put new heel caps on it and I love the logo. I think that's really pretty on there. Just a really pretty classy shoe. And then I have another Dior. How darling are those? New heel caps. The soles were in good shape. I did clean these up. I used a little bit of the Masters Thinner uh, to take off any little marks that I couldn't, that I didn't want to paint over. If something was able to be cleaned off, I did that. I don't believe it sold over the counter. So uh, if you want to use your own thinner, I would do a little test swatch somewhere on the shoe. So this one here, again, I put these new soles and heels on it. I did use some paint on it because they were pretty worn and scuffed up. So um, Angela's paint on those, those are fun. And I didn't get the time, but these, you know, could be cleaned. I think those would probably clean up a little bit more. These are suede uh, liners, bed liners, and suede usually cleans up pretty well. And then we have the black version of that same shoe. She has new heel caps and new half soles. Again, suede liners and uh, the hardware could probably clean up more with like a jewelry cleaner. Um, again, you know, she didn't pay for that. So I'm letting her have those back. And then uh, these are gorgeous. Look at these Gucci's. Just absolutely lovely, lovely slides. You know, Gucci is so quality. <laughs> Chanel's really cool. I guess I'm saying some of my favorites are the Gucci's, the Chanel's. Um, the Dior's that we're all seeing are, are pretty nice too, but I think uh, Gucci really takes it up a notch. All right, then we did these uh, black Chanel and these straps were too big for the client's foot. So it was very floppy on her. So I went ahead and took those in uh, almost an inch on each side and they're quite lovely. She's due for some new heel caps and a half sole for sure. See, look how thin this sole is and she's already wearing through the toe. So um, she'll probably end up leaving it with me and changing her mind on that, but that's what I'm gonna recommend to her. Then we have these really fun Dior's. Now these are the same um, upholstery kind of fabric and they were very, very dirty. And this is how nicely they cleaned up. I mean, super lovely. I did a half sole on these for her. And uh, anyway, like I said, got them nice and clean. It works really well in that kind of material. So then we have this very vintage Chanel. And this is the one where I replaced the elastic on this little uh, buckle there. But look at this tiny little buckle on this Chanel. It's so gorgeous. And um, I gave her new heel caps. And they even have detailing on the toe piece on their uh, materials. But incredibly well made. 
um, beautiful material, uh, all cleanable, but so that was really, really fun. And then we have some Hermes. This was, um, again, she wanted to have a little bit of lift on her shoes, so we put the quarter inch brown crepe on it and some nice shoe polish, but Hermes is very nice. I, I hardly get them in for repair. Same with Chanel's, and I think that says something about the brand. Um, then we also have some really pretty Gucci belts. These are nice. And this client, they're brand new, and this client, I had to switch out the buckles. He wanted this different pattern because he has a pair of shoes that match this alligator print. And on the hardware on the shoes, it was this brushed, the brushed brass. So I switched those out for him. Very nice. And of course, something like that, it's probably, uh, you could have done this on a home sewing machine, I think. But, um, you know, it's always nice to have a cobbler in your back pocket, right? So that's wonderful. Okay, and that was my show. I don't want to bore the heck out of you, but I had to show you all of these amazing, amazing shoes. And before we leave, just a couple of extra things that are always available on Amazon, and that is Amazon Explore. If you guys haven't checked it out, now's summertime. You can actually travel virtually with Amazon Explore and um, tour their... Uh, they have lots of different things. You can either take classes, you can have a, go shopping in a street in France and have somebody tour you through there and you just pay a nominal fee. You can order products, they can buy things for you that are on the shelf. And so that's really, really fun. And um, so there we go. So that's Amazon Explorer. The other thing that's really handy is Prime Wardrobe. Uh, Prime Wardrobe is great because for, for, I think your budget, the limit is $300, but you can order items, try them on, and then uh, return them within, within uh, a week without paying for them in advance. So uh, that's a nice option. Uh, Amazon's so great about returns anyway. It's just this is where you don't have to shell out the money on the front end, and then you just pay for what you keep. So that's that. And then again, if you're ever in Maui, you are welcome to visit my store if the shoe fits. I am Maui's only cobbler, and I love what I do. I love working on these high-end brands, and I give a lot of attention to detail. So either buy the products on my Amazon shopping cart, which supports me, right? I make a little commission, and it helps me make more content. Or you can uh, shop, uh, shop in my store and say hi. I get that. That's pretty fun from travelers from around the globe. Anyway, I want to say hi to my mom. Thanks for watching and a shout out to everybody. Thank you so much. I'm excited to do more content. I just got married. I'll be doing and I bought most of my wedding supplies from Amazon. And so I'll be sharing those. They were fantastic. And I'm also going to be covering my beach video because I bought some really great things from Amazon. It's summertime. People are traveling and I'll kind of give you a heads up on some really great products to get. So Thank you so much. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, hit the like button. And I really appreciate all of you so much. From Maui, aloha.